Yeah. Ah, there you folks, stays case. I don't wanna. I'm just trapped. <laughs> All right, folks, how's it going? These catties going over the water today uh, on a solo tonight, and then. Wood anemones certainly making an appearance this time of year. So I'm trying to have a look round for a spot just to set up for tonight. Um, it's been really wet, really wet underfoot at the moment, and, um, and there's a sort of like public right away, sort of over that way in front of me, if you like. So I'm sort of coming down off onto this dip because I want to have a fire later as well to cook the dinner um, and obviously just for somewhere just to get company for myself in the evening so I'm um, kind of looking at a bit of this dip down here to my left um, plenty of ash and that to use for fire there's a nice carpet of wood anemones and some primula vulgaris primula and, uh, primroses loads of them there as well so, uh, no, I'm not going to bother with that spot down there. It ticks because it's down off a bank, but obviously because of that as well, there's a bit of a water runoff as well, I think, and the ground is just saturated. So uh, I'm going to look somewhere else. So as I'm walking along, the ground is carpeted with wild garlic. Now, obviously, be careful, there's arum lily in between there as well, so obviously, the safe bet is to pull a leaf, crush it, give it a sniff. And if obviously it's got a smell of garlic, then you're in with a winner, really. Now, I thought I found myself a little spot earlier. And uh, no, I think, especially back there, it was very wet. I mean, the path, the main track is very wet as well. You know, blah, yeah, yeah. But um, I thought I deviated off one of the tracks where there was a load of hazel went there. I thought, oh, this would be ideal. And then not far behind it is another footpath. It's like, ugh. And it's not whether it's used or not, it doesn't matter, it's there. So, um, continue searching. There's a better example. So there's your arum lily. Yeah, the one with all the dots all over it. And then there's your, uh, your lambsons. Oi, oi, someone's been lounging about. Look, they've made a, they've used the, uh, the root system of that upturned ash tree. And uh, put a load of branches on there. Now, if they weren't so close to the path, I could lay my tarp over that. <laughs> That'd be an all right shower. <laughs> I'll nearly give my uh, some of my gaiters off, give the boots a clean, and all the rest of it. And I thought oh, I might leave the old gaiters off. And uh, <laughs> something that Imbley said, put them back on. So I followed that. And I did put them back on. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I did really. That's looking a bit more appealing, isn't it? Sort of over that area. A lot of chestnut. The soil, the soil looks pretty drained as well. Might have a bit more luck this side, I think.
I'm going to stop for a while, sit down, have a brew. I've been walking for about an hour or so. <coughs> for about an hour or so. Which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, I have a lot. But I am struggling at the moment to find a decent spot. It's just sort of, it's kind of wet. And I've come over to where all these bluebells are and everything else. I don't want to keep hassling on about me, you know, because I'm you know, trying to find somewhere to set up for the night. But, um, yeah, I'm not even, I might even set up here. I'm literally just going to go for a plough point. It's quite level. It's not too bad. Um, and uh, so it goes. But uh, obviously, you know, let's stop, think, observe, plan for the next move. So I'm going to have a brew and uh, let me chill out for a minute. Test the old chair out as well with them old straps on the legs as well. So that's my plough point set up. It's still quite windy at the moment. So um, with that, the forecast says it's going to peter out, but um, just for now, I'm just going to leave the tarp up and not bother to get my sleeping bag and all that sort of stuff out till later. So I'm uh, just gathering some firewood now. This is a uh, wild beer company. It's an Everstone Easy New Zealand IPA. Really nice. Anyone else tried this Northern Monk? It's apple strudel with custard. It doesn't actually remind me of apple strudel and custard. It reminds me more of um. Um, rhubarb and custard, you know the old bolt, you know the old bolt sweets you used to get. It's actually pretty good. A bit of cod and parsley sauce. I've got asparagus as well, but I'm going to save that for tomorrow. Too bad, really. Still quite light. Cops go forward, don't they? They go forward an hour this weekend. That's quite nice. So I'm just going to chill out for a while. So 
at least the wind has dropped now. That's pretty cool. So, uh, it should be dark just after 7. Not that 20 minutes. Just chill it out, really. Burning the last of my wood on the fire. Right, now, folks. Let's see when I'm opening. socks in there. My Merkel on-liner. My pillow. My hat. And then finally what will go in there is my ground sheet. And uh, the ground's a bit damp at the moment. I'm still packing up. You get the picture. It's not top pouch, right? Now I've got some. Oh, it's by Mr. Fries. And I've also got these as well. These were like pence off a of Temu. I bought about five of them. And I've got one with charger leads in it, and one with the torches and the, uh, and the lamp. I often get comments from people telling me how organised my kit is. And the reason why it has to be is because I'm an idiot. And it's as simple as it is, really. That's why I have to have everything in patches and everything segregated off so I know where everything is. Because otherwise I forget. It's lovely, isn't it, when you get up in the mornings. I love having, I've had this conversation with other people. And, um, getting up in the morning, getting a brew on and all that, just chilling out. And, uh, doing the ambulance and birds and everything else isn't it? Um, I've got my uh, tarp just airing over there, it's just need to damp last night. So obviously with that, I'm just trying to wear that dry out a bit so I can get that bit away. Right, it's wet, because obviously I'm moving off today going somewhere else. So enjoying a night, enjoying, enjoying a nice Darjeeling coffee. I'll oh, need to know what to do. Strung the tarp up. Just trying to get some air into it, really. Get a bit dried off before I uh, pack up completely because it is quite wet, really. So, uh, yeah, just take advantage of it. So, the chair, step, the chair straps work as well. They only sink, obviously, to the depth of the belt with that strap in and then it just sits there so that's really good I'm glad that worked really um I'll knock myself up some straps it's all hand stitched just for attaching something to the bottom in this case it's my chair Off. There's a lot of squirrel activity here. Look at that chestnut. There's a little 
screw screws in it, the teeth marks. Uh -huh. I'll leave that down there in case one of them comes back for it. Right, let's go. So, uh, please like, subscribe, and share, and leave a uh, check out the description and leave a comment below. Like, thank you.